What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Trending Show. I'm doing a little dance. Oh. My wife hates when I do that. It's my DJ, like, she hates horn, it? you know? There. Yeah. Probably because I'm a little obnoxious with it. And yeah. I do it at, you know, inappropriate times. That could be why. I but... don't know when an inappropriate time would be. <laughs> Funerals, probably. <laughs> Car accident scenes. Yeah. yeah. Today, we're going to lay to rest John Wilkerson. Yeah. He's dead. <laughs> yeah, that, that would be, be inappropriate. Right that would be that inappropriate. Would be right Dude, the list. So good. The list. A lot of fun stuff to chat about here. Yes, sir. Um, first up, Whistling Diesel mudding the $100,000 F-350 until it's ruined. Man. So this was fun. Well, my favorite part about this video is he makes a phone call to his insurance company before he before he does this. And he goes, yeah, I'd like to take full coverage off the, the F-350. Just, I'd like to take coverage off completely. And they're like, oh, okay. So no insurance. He's like, yep, yeah, no insurance. No insurance. Yeah, they're probably going to be mad. Yep, yeah, for sure. Okay, cool. Thank you. And then he proceeds to just mud, you know, drive his F-350 and just ruin it. But like, it was, I mean, I guess why, why would you want to... Take would, insurance off. Well, would, uh, I hadn't thought about it, but I wonder if that would be insurance fraud. If he intentionally did this to ruin it. Yeah. And then he got a, he, and then if you were to do a claim saying my truck is That's ruined, true. That yeah. might be insurance yeah, fraud. Yeah, that could be fraud. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, and he's putting it on YouTube like yeah. he's hiding it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's advertising it. So, uh, so fun. Well, I'm the guy, maybe every guy does this. Yeah. If there's a puddle, I'm going to go out of my way to drive through it. Oh, yeah. Get, leaves, get the little out of my way. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I love it. And so this was like that times a million. And yeah. this truck is beautiful. I don't oh, yeah. know much about cars, but I know I like nice ones. Yeah, um, no. Uh, I love I love Ford trucks. And F-350 is just a beast. But it has like, he had the airbags in it or whatever's in whatever it for like is. raise it up. You yeah. Know, get more clearance and all the stuff. And he just rips through the mud. He, he starts hitting like a, a jump. Yeah, and then, it's funny. You watch the video, and he, he's getting yeah. like half inch of air. It looks like maybe. Yeah, <laughs> like maybe the, have it. the suspension is so big in it that literally, like the tires just yeah. stay on the ground. Yeah, he's like, it felt crazy while I was in the truck, but it it, it just looks, looks kind of lame. Well, it's like seeing stuff. airplanes, uh, the outside of an airplane when it, when it has turbulence. The oh people yeah, people on the inside are like, oh my gosh, <laughs> but on the outside, it's just, it just looks. Dude, yeah. funny you bring that up. Thank you. I was going to, so I just flew, I just flew for a trip. And do you ever notice when you're on a plane, there's like these moments or these pockets where it literally feels like you're not moving forward or backwards or up or down or anything. There's all, there's always a constant friction in sure. a plane, right? Sure. It's kind of like, yeah. and like, obviously turbulence and like, you'll feel the ups yeah. and the downs and the, all the things. But then there's these, I was sitting there just listening to a podcast and at, at one moment in time, it literally just felt like like we were just frozen <laughs> in the air, like almost weightless, like floating. Oh my god! And I was like, "Wow!" And so I'm thinking to myself, "I'm like, is this is this just a really good pilot? Like that's what pilots go for, but yeah. like very few can get there." Yeah, I, f- I feel like all the pilots I've flown with. It's just yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. I don't know. Do you know what I'm talking about? Have you ever? I do. I've had a sensation like feel that. that sensa- yeah. yeah. Felt that sensation. Yeah. Crazy. Especially over the Bermuda Triangle. Just kidding. I've never flown over there. <laughs> That's crazy. Though. What podcast you, were you listening to? I go around. Uh, it was uh, Joe Rogan's MMA Fun. show. Fun. Yeah, no, it was good. He had Frankie Edgar on. It was a good time. Fun. So, But just podcasts are yeah. the best way, I think, to kill the time during a long flight. You oh, know yeah. what I mean? Oh, Something yeah. Sound like it. All right. Dope or nope? 10 Extreme prank products that your friends won't expect. <laughs> so fun. I really enjoyed this video. So what they did is they <clears throat> went to, I think, Amazon or a similar site yeah and bought these kind of inexpensive prank gag products to Mm -hmm. trick their friends with everything from a pen that when you open the lid there was a little explosion right right. to gloves that actually have an electrical charge when Mm -hmm. you shake someone's hand uh they also had oh there was they would they took a sponge like you would use to wash dishes or something yeah yeah and put frosting on it look like it was like a cake like a dessert (laughs) and tried to get people to eat it it was so Biting good. Into a sponge. Um, I want to do all of these pranks. Seriously, they, they're fantastic. There's something about a prank, man. Oh, it's I love just it. it's just fun. There's like the it. the antis- It's almost uh, 
it's just the excitement of like a reaction yeah. that you're gonna get that makes a prank so fun. It's but so like, funny. did you ever, did you like you have siblings? Did you guys prank each other growing up? Um, not so much. No, uh, but I've told you about my phase in Vegas where I went to magic shops. <laughs> Yes, I well, remember that phase very well. Well, they also have pranks at these places. <laughs> and so I would buy yeah. a prank or two. Yeah. And in high school, we would take um, bills, like $5, $10 bills, $20 yeah. bills, and tie a fishing line <laughs> to them and put them in front of Walmart yeah. and just sit there and uh, pull them. Like we just, were like yeah. five feet away from them. So, someone reaches down yeah, like, boop, just keep, and pretend like keep, we didn't like, do Like the wind's blowing or something? Yeah. Or like, because I grew up in Vegas, uh, we'd walk on the strip, yeah, and we would have hoodies on without the hood, and my friend would have a squirt gun through the hoodie pocket <laughs> and just spray people as they're walking by. Yeah, oh. people get very angry when oh, mysterious man. liquids hit their faces. Oh yeah, I don't recommend doing that. No, it was a different time. Yeah, <laughs> um, or they would take their. Um, their windshield washer, like squirty things, yeah, yeah, yeah. and turn them to the left. Oh, and, and then so just... we drive down the street and spray people. <laughs> innocent, it's innocent fun, right? It's yeah, it's a, it's a prank. It's a prank. It's a prank. Did you prank your siblings? Well, so I one story comes to mind where my so my my brother is seven years older than I am, and so I was I was a kid who was still taking naps, and I remember this vividly. So okay. I was like. So let's say I'm th- maybe I'm three, maybe I'm yeah three years old. So that would mean my brother's ten. Yeah. And my brother is 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 has like a very engineer mind. You know he he's he was always, dude. He was always like taking my toys apart because it's like there's a cool motor in there. I know it. And I'm like this is yeah. my vibrating my vibrating bear. Like why are you trying to rip it apart? Yes. And uh, so he would like, you know, open my toys and and use the motors and make like ridiculous contraptions to like throw his trash away from his bed to his... are you serious yes i'm 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 completely serious that's so, amazing yeah no like i'm sad uh, for you because you're yeah vibrating oh dude i'm so broke, sad but... i'm sitting here watching a knife go to my bear and i'm like no fluffy <laughs> the vibrating bear what are you doing why was the bear it, it like laughed or something you know it's what i mean me <laughs> it wasn't a tickle me elmo i remember okay. it was like oh you know what it was a monkey and it went <laughs> oh like that, that is that's terrifying. what it was i'm glad your brother Off anyway <laughs> destroyed my my monkey anyways uh he so i remember this i was i was laying down to take a nap and uh we had bunk beds and so i was on the bottom bunk and i had fallen asleep and what he'd done is he'd he'd taken a a, like a solo cup and he had and he had poked holes on the side and he tied a string to it to come up to a what's that okay Yeah, yeah yeah to come up uh and then the string went over the bunk bed uh you know, the bar of the bunk bed. And then on the other end of the string, he put a washer and he slid the washer onto my finger. So like he had it perfect. So my, my arms down, the, the cups hanging, my, my finger is holding the weight of the cup just so just right. And then I'm sleeping and then they tickled my face. So I would lift my hand. As soon as I lifted the hand, the cup what? tipped all this water on me. So I remember this. I'm and you're napping. Three. I'm, I'm like three years old. I'm napping and, and they do this thing. And then I, I'm covered in water. I'm like, and so I start crying. I'm like, what, what happened? My face is covered Your in water. Your beard is dripping. My, <laughs> my three-year-old beard. <laughs> yeah. I've had a beard since then. And my mom comes in. Yeah. And uh, she was like, what? What's wrong, honey? What's wrong? And she sees, I'm like soaking wet. She sees this the washer on my finger and the string going up over the, over the <laughs> bunk bed to the cup. And instead of being like, oh my gosh, honey, I'm so sorry. Kids, what, what are you doing? She, she literally looks. She's like. <laughs> <laughs> like she just laughs because she's like, oh my gosh. Yeah. How, how brilliant is yeah. this prank? And I'm like, why are you laughing, mom? <laughs> she's like, no, 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 honey, it's okay. But she was just like, couldn't, couldn't hold in her laughter because yeah. she was just like, oh my gosh, like this is so good. What a good prank. So yes, so I remember good. being pranked as a kid. And that is awesome. I carry it with me to this day. That is crazy. Still won't sleep on a bottom bunk. Really? (laughs) Oh, I was like, I was wondering why you. Yeah, I saw your bunk beds in your room. Yeah, yeah. You're on the top. Your wife's on the bottom. Yeah, yeah. That's how we. That's how we. That's why. (laughs) And no solo cups allowed in your house, just in case. Lele Pons, I have bad news. Lele, dude, I love this. Dude, she's funny. 
She she's funny. Up. I was a fan of hers when she was on Vine. She came from Vine. This is my first video. Oh, of of Lele. Yeah, dude, she's funny. Check out, yeah, check out. Uh, I mean, there's there's Vine compilations all over YouTube, but you can you can look at some of her stuff from back then. And she was like, she was like a high schooler doing Vine. Wow. And she had like you know her group of friends, and they were they were really funny. Um, yeah. Anyways, in this video, it's just this build up and build up to <laughs> her friend Hannah, who's trying to tell her something bad about her. She's like, I got something real bad to say about you. I got something. So I can I need to tell you something that's real bad. It's about you. <laughs> And just the build up, and everyone knows but her. And it's Have you just, told her yet? Have you told her, <laughs> told her yet? Because once you tell her, I'll, I'll arrest her. Yeah. There's a cop, and she's like, "Wait, what?" Have you told her yet? Just, uh, just know you're in our prayers. <laughs> her mom calls. She's like, "Did you tell her yet?" Oh man, uh, funny. She's funny, man. There, uh, she's got some some good content, and it, it's I just I I like her stuff. Funny, funny. It always makes me nervous when people are like, hey, I got to tell you something. Like, just tell oh, me. Yeah. Don't, don't, like, preface it. Yeah. Just tell me. Or, hey, like when I was a kid, hey, when we get home, we need to talk about that. Yeah, we no, need to mom, talk. Just talk oh, to man. Now. Yeah, I'm like, nervous. what? Is, what's it going to be? You got that buildup? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, no, uh, it's never a good thing when someone's like, hey. Yeah, we need to talk. I need to talk to you about something. It's never a good thing when someone says, hey, smell this. <laughs> It and when never- we get home, I have something I need you to smell. <laughs> Cupcakes? <laughs> Thanks. It's never like deliciousness. It's like yeah, it's never yeah. It's, yeah, it's just yeah. like socks. I suppose if someone had a bouquet of flowers, they might be like, "Oh, smell these. They smell good." But yeah. like every other scenario yeah. Yeah, that requires so some, you to smell something, yeah. not a good, oh, not a good body thing. odor. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, also like totally different but similar when someone says like hey um i was wondering what are you doing tomorrow uh they want to fill in your plans for you oh uh, so yeah you gotta be careful in saying oh, i don't have plans yeah because they'll be like oh cool i'm glad because i have a hand cart i need you to help me pull across town <laughs> or something <laughs> or it's pulling that- a hand cart across <laughs> town. yeah I know some weird. Is that people. a is that a is that a wood wagon with yeah. like wood wheels? Yeah, yeah. Can only yeah. only move whatever's in it by by this cart. Yeah, he's like my truck broke down. I yeah. have to move. We're gonna do it by hand cart. I'm like, I got a truck we could use. He's like, no, I'm no. gonna do. I'm gonna go old school. No man, no paying hey, homage. What are you doing tomorrow? Hey, what are you doing tomorrow? Um, ooh. Even if I have plans, I can cancel them if if what you're about to tell me is awesome. <laughs> yeah, right. No, it never exactly. Is. It never it's is. never awesome. No, never. Yeah. First we feast hot ones. Yeah, it is. It is the premiere of I forget what season they're on, but anyhow, Margot Robbie. Right Can behind you? you. Right behind Take you. a look. Take a look. We got it in frame. That's the girl. It's in frame on the main. That's cam. the girl. There she is, Margot Robbie. Man, uh, first of all, can we talk about something? I yes. Did not know that she has an accent. Dude, didn't know. Dude, <laughs> me too. Really? Yes. <laughs> yes. That's so funny. Yeah, like literally, I started watching this, and uh, and first of all, she has zero tolerance for anything spicy. She's like, her lips are burning on the first one, right. on the on the first wing. She was like, wow. Uh, she was, and she says, she's like, I have a I have a palate of a four year old. I can't even do her accent. I don't know where she's from. Do you know where she's Australia, from? Australia, I believe. Is it Australia? Yeah. Okay. I believe. Um, I have a machine here. I can look up. Anyways, I had no idea that she. I guess she just she just plays her roles Australia. really well. Yeah, she does. I literally had no idea. Um, you know uh, what is what is it? Wolf of Wall Street? Great was, movie was the first great movie. The first uh, first I've I'd heard of her, or seen her, and and then yeah, you just you go to the movies and you see her, you see the character they portray. She has an accent. Spoiler <laughs> alert: Margot Robbie has an accent. Well. Um, I, I was impressed by Sean, the host of Hot Ones, yeah, yeah. compassion for her. He's like, yeah. hey, no shame, no shame. And then they had the yeah. emergency liquids and mm-hmm. ice or whatever yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. And she, he's like, no shame, just do your thing. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. He's very compassionate for yeah, her. Yeah, Because some other hosts would be like, eat it. Yeah. You're famous. Oh, get over it. Thing you've had to do all year. Yeah. Just eat it. <laughs> and then her co-host from Birds of Prey were there for the last dab. Mm-hmm. The hottest, hottest, hottest oh, sauce man. they have. And the one all the um, right next to her loved it, and she's like, "This is delicious." Oh man, mm. yeah. oh, it's a little spicy on the way down. But she's like, "It's so good." It Meanwhile, so Margo's like, "They're like clear, yeah, 
She's just, I can't do this. What's your She's taking tolerance? her jackets off? Dude, uh, my spice, I like things spicy. Me too. I can get, me too. I can get, I like it hot, man. Yeah. Like the spicier, the better. Yeah. It's so uh, good. Who is the, there's a, I had a friend in, in Vegas whose uncle was like, Die hard, loved, loved spicy, and we we would go to restaurants. <laughs> We'd go to restaurants, like a Mexican restaurant. They'd be like, <laughs> "How do you want? How, like, what uh, what salsa do yeah. you want?" He was like, "I want, I want the hottest salsa you got. You put it all over that burrito." He said, "I want to eat fire and crap lightning." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yes. So I don't know that I'm that level. No, I'm but not. But I do, either. I do yeah. like, uh, I do like things spicy, man. Yeah, me for too. sure. Me for too. Sure. I was, uh, I had hoped to have a prop today and to do uh, the last dab, but I just uh, didn't work out. Dude, didn't work the out. last dab. You time. know, next time. The, next time Hot, Hot Ones is on trending. Hot Ones is going to hit the trending list and again, we'll believe it. you me. If you're not a fan, go. It's if you great, haven't seen it, go show. check it out. Good show. Dude, 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 dude. Okay. Bad lip reading <laughs> is on the trending list, folks. Yes. Bad lip reading, the NFL 2020. So... Bad lip reading is one of, is like one of those channels that is just so brilliant. Yeah. That every time they do something, like I, I click the notification as soon as it comes over. Yes. I don't care where I am. I'm right. stop. I'm pulling over. I'm like going to the bathroom. I'm gonna check this video out. Hilarious this year, um, and he's only getting better. And the crazy thing about bad lip reading, and, and I don't know if this is still accurate, is uh, we don't know who he is. Yeah, I, I don't know. We don't, don't like know, like yeah. he's not uh he doesn't use his name. He doesn't uh put his name in the credits or anything like this. What we do know is cuz he does interviews and things like that is that he is uh in the music industry and is a uh, in, in a pro- a producer of sorts. When he does interviews his face isn't shown? I don't know that well like uh like blog article oh, interviews like wow. quoted not like yeah. not like he's sitting down on camera yeah. and maybe maybe it's changed as of I mean, since, since the beginning, uh, we've just not known who he is. That's the craziest part. I'm going to just do a little search here to see if we know. Do we know yet? I'm I curious. Think, I don't think we the do. Fir- so the first bad lip reading that came out <clears throat> was Rebecca Black. That's right. Friday. Gang fight. And it was gang fight. <laughs> and it was <laughs> That's amazing. so funny. And he's just done, I mean, he's done everything from Disney movies yeah. to uh, yeah. songs like Michael Buble songs. Yeah. Uh, he's done, uh, the NFL is, is a series that he does, and it's just every year. My favorite part is when is when, <laughs> when they put, like, the player on the screen, and they're saying their name. Yeah, yeah. And he gives them, like, the Some weirdest crazy names. crazy name. The crazy it's name. like, doo-wop, sneak-a-bop. <laughs> yeah, doo-wop, sneak-a-bop, flick a doo <laughs> Or, like... Goat Ham Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> According to Wikipedia, yeah, it's an anonymous producer. He's an anonymous producer. So I... Crazy. I thought one day, because I, I thought one day I'm going to do a bad lip reading style channel. Because yeah. there's not really a competitor. Yeah. And competition makes everyone better. Sure. I tried, and I tried, yeah. and I tried, and I'm reasonably creative... I couldn't do it. Yeah. I couldn't do it. I, I even put the videos in like slow motion, like halftime. Yeah. So I could kind of match. Yeah. The match some sounds. Yeah. A little bit. Uh-huh. I even took um, um, subtitles uh-huh. and tried to fit words in that had the same syllables. Yeah. That were funny. I don't know how he does it. Didn't man. work. Yeah. I have no it's idea. Crazy. I don't. I don't know. And sometimes I feel like he turns them around so fast. Yeah. Like, like the democratic debates. Yeah. Yeah. Will happen on a Friday. Yeah. And by the next like Wednesday or Friday, we have a bad lip reading it's of amazing. the whole thing <laughs> with songs and everything. And I'm like, how does this guy? He's so creative. He's amazing. Oh, He's like one of those so dudes good. that I just, I, like I'm telling you, anytime that notification comes over, it's like, bloop, daddy's yeah. busy for the next five minutes. All right. Next up is Off the Ranch renovating an abandoned mansion part 13. Now, this is my first video from you, this channel. Okay. I went on a click hole about a month ago on this guy's channel. Really? Yeah. And it was the the abandoned man. I, I watched the episode where it was like the second time they're showing the abandoned mansion. So he and his wife bought this abandoned mansion. I forget where they are. Somewhere in the south, maybe. I don't know. Don't I, I don't even know where they are. Let's it see. almost looked like um, Idaho. 
And then it, it kind of looked like somewhere in California. It's like a high desert. Yeah, it's know. crazy. Yeah. But it's just this giant uh, mansion that someone was building and then couldn't com- couldn't complete the construction, went to foreclosure, whatever. It doesn't matter. He ended up with this mansion. Yeah. But he's like, uh, and he's renovating it himself. And they're, I mean, it's huge. It's got to be, it's got to be 10,000, 15,000 yeah, square feet. It's huge. huge. My friends, <clears throat> my friends that are contractors, um, some of them have been like, man, I wish I did what you do for a living, right? Yeah. Because you're like doing videos and doing this right. stuff. But I wish I, I knew how to do what they do, right? Like <laughs> yeah, I watch this yeah. video and I feel like a man child. Yeah. <laughs> These guys are cutting two by fours or whatever yeah. they are. Oh, yeah. And then you'll have like six of them climb up a 20 foot ladder, <laughs> which I don't know if I could do like without holding the wood. <laughs> right? Right? Like so and it's, the ladder's like straight up and down. <laughs> Impressive. Impressive. Oh, yeah. Like the, that these guys can do this. And then they're walking on the beams holding the two. Oh, yeah. And, and then they're like, they're swinging a, you know, a compressor nail gun, like, yeah. which isn't light. No. And then they're reaching and like. Not thunk, at all. Thunk. Yeah. But it reminded me, because it was an abandoned mansion, reminded me of some of these abandoned channels on, not the abandoned channels, but channels that go through abandoned buildings mm-hmm. on okay. YouTube. Have you seen any, any of these? I've seen abandoned channels on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. I've got a couple. <laughs> I've got a couple. <laughs> no, there are schools and hospitals and malls throughout mm. this country and other yeah. countries, but throughout yeah, yeah. this country that are ornate and beautiful that people walked away from due to economic issues right, or, right. or yeah. weather or whatever. Yeah. It, if you want to get through a click yeah. in a click hole, check those yeah. out. And There's then it's, even, all, it's eerie, right? Dude, super eerie. weird. Yeah. There's this guy in California, wish I knew his channel name, but he was riding a motorcycle, saw this creepy building, like a house in the middle of nowhere. So he rides up to it. Clearly, you know, windows boarded up, mm-hmm. graffiti everywhere. He walks through and he's just filming everything. And there's like creepy pictures mm. on the walls and like clothing. Yeah. And he's just walking through and then he hears like someone go, hey. No. He booked it, man. No. He's got a GoPro on his I'm head. I'm gone. He booked it. He's gone. Like, yeah. I had to shut off the video, dude. It dude. freaked me out. Close the computer. Yeah. Turn every light on. Yeah. <laughs> Could it have been fake? Sure. Yeah, but I think if you're going to fake that, wouldn't you be like, like fight the guy? Like, hey, back at you. Get out of here. Yeah, make it a little more. look, I made him run. Like that type of thing. Yeah. I don't know. Ah, that's creepy. The guy was like freaked out. Dude. Like. I bet. Yeah. Oh, man. And and the weather kind of collapses these buildings. So kind of like people that go caving. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what that's called. Spelunking? (laughs) Yeah. Is that what Uh, it is? I don't know, dude. (laughs) They have to like shimmy through things to get to where they want to go because walls fall down. Uh So as he's running out of this building, he had to like shimmy through things and stuff. Dude, structures coming down. They're fun to watch. Fun, fun, fun. That's creepy. So you just. You just sparked. This is this is the beauty of this. We start talking about stuff. You just. I remembered this this memory. So when I. in, In Vegas. Uh, I had a, a, a friend of mine whose dad uh, purchased a house uh, really for the land. They were going to tear the house down to build oh, wow. his office space. Oh, cool. Um, like downtown? Just, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. Exactly. It was like kind of downtown area. But the house he purchased, do you remember Margaret Rudin? I don't. She was a, she was a lady who, uh, she was like a black widow. Like her oh, husband kept yeah. dying. Yeah. So this was this house was owned by her. And this apparently is the house where she uh, killed one of her husbands, or the last one before she got caught, or something like that. What? I think I'm. I think I'm getting this. Uh, I think she. I think there were multiple dead husbands. I know for a fact that this is the house where the one husband was killed, dude. So his dad, his dad owns it, and it's and it's foreclosed. It's like one of those boarded up places, yeah. and the and the plan is to rent, just reno it, and whatever. So me and my friend mm-hmm. and a. Five of us, you know, five of our other friends were like, dude, let's go there tonight. Yeah. It gets dark. It's like, there's no power. Let's oh, just walk through it, man. My gosh. So same type of situation. We, we you know, we walk up, the the windows are boarded. It's graffitied everywhere in there. And it says, you know, like murderer and like all this, literally like the real dark stuff. Because everybody knows this was the house where this she, she did this. This is downtown Las Vegas. This is downtown Las Vegas. Like dude. near the stratosphere. Dude. So Yeah. So I'm like, we're like, well, we had to come through this gate How old to were enter you? this back. Uh, 15. What? 15, 16. Yeah. Yeah. And we enter this house and it's dark, dude. And it's like, um, 
and so we're so we're in the house and we're like we wanted to get to the bathroom because apparently there was like this uh there was this the bathroom is where it happened i guess right so we're like okay so we're like walking through this pitch dark house downtown vegas middle of the night oh my gosh. and uh my buddy carlos comes around the corner and he sees someone in the like sitting in the living room shut up carlos thought he knew him carlos goes hey they're like hey john like thought it was a friend of his and dude gets up and there's like two more dudes behind him. They're like, hey, get out of here. I'm like, ah, 15 years old. I'm like freaking out. I'm entering this house that I, where someone was murdered. And, and we, my buddy thinks he sees his other buddy and he's like, hey, is that you? And they're like, no, it ain't. You better get out of here. Like terrified, man. Terrified. We jam out of there, uh, g- go through the gate, like get in the car. Like we couldn't have sped out of there fast enough. But yeah, what? dude, I was... You just brought this up. I'm probably not going to sleep tonight. What? I Crazy, right? <clears throat> what? Crazy. So many things. So those houses are, are very real and very, yeah, that's nuts. They yeah. weren't just watching the game. No, dude. Who knows what they were what doing? What were they doing in this abandoned house? I mean, they're probably, you can probably think of, you know, what they were doing, but like, it was sketchy. Dude, that is sketchy. sketchy. Whoa. Yeah, dude. Whoa. So... Whoa, that is crazy. <laughs> yeah, dude. Did you get a look at the guys? Like, or was no. It so like, so like, Carlos was kind of on lead, and like, dude, we were we were moving real slow, kind of like, like, you know, like I I probably had my hand on my friend's shirt, yeah, and was like, uh, dude, 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 yeah, like just kind of you know looking through hallways, into this great room, and there's like a dude sitting there. What? And Carlos is like, oh, that's my friend. Like, oh, it makes sense. It's, no, it doesn't make sense. But he's like, <laughs> "Hey, hey, is that?" Yeah, and yeah, it was not him. In the shadows, we all kind of in the sh- alike. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. who knows? So, did Crazy. you ever go through that house in the day? Uh, no, no, I didn't go wow. back. No, I didn't go back. Never go back. No, uh, I, I like had been to the op- offices after the house was plowed and gone. Oh, right. So, like, I've been to the the area and the space, but Whoa. Uh, yeah, no, I never went back. Margaret Rudin, dude, look up Margaret Rudin. Later. Okay. I will. Uh, and read up on that. Margaret Rudin, Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Something's going to pop up. Yeah. Dude, that is crazy. Oh, my God. Fun times here. Woo! Fun times here on Trending Show. <sighs> that was an awesome list. Good so list fun. today. You guys, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. You can always... Uh, subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, if you listen to us on a podcast, give a little review, a rating yeah. of sorts. That just helps Please. us. Um in the algorithms. Yeah. Uh, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. We'll see you guys next time. See ya.